before not from the bottom and ask each of you guys please to identify yourself because there's a lot of youngsters in the squad and uh, although we know the names we don't necessarily identify them with the faces so Andy if you'll start I was the guy who hid in the mic there we go <laughs> Danny Grinder Jamie Howell <laughs> Ryan Stevenson <laughs> Adam Barlow my name is Al Lucas Michael McGood Mitch Stelgin John Sutton Jamie McDonald Mark Rogers Ryan McGann's little brother Gordon Smith Brad McKay With the best hair cut in the house Alan Patterson With the worst facial hair in the house How do we get this on the floor? Dennis Pushnenko Scott Robinson Jason Hull David Smith Hugh Walker Fraser Mullen Tony King Dale Carrick That was happening Nice one, okay So you now know who everybody is The idea is if you have a question for a specific player or a group of them Just put your hand up, we'll come to you with a microphone And then you can ask your question Please don't hang around because what generally happens as we get into the last five minutes and everybody wants to ask a question. So, who's going to start us off then? Our first question of the evening. Give me a hand up. There we are. Okay, sir. I'll bring the microphone over. If you can identify yourself and then tell us who you're asking the question of. Craig Stewart. Marius, what's been your proudest moment in football so far? <laughs> Bear in mind there are women and children in here. <laughs> August the 19th of May. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the way for 2007. Give Can I start that again? We didn't catch the other bit. What about 2007? Let's stop it the Easter egg. Do you remember? <laughs> what hell were we? The Easter egg, did you say? <laughs> Seriously, I didn't hear you. In Easter egg. Easter Road. That's an Easter house. <laughs> Seriously. Easter. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Don't go to half with me. It's only the first question. Good girl. Right, have we got another question from, uh, from the guys here? Folks, you've got a huge turnout of players. Okay, a big fella right up the very top of the room. Sir, if you want. He's my... Well, he was sitting down at the time. I thought he was big. There you are. Stand on a chair, fella. Go on. Tell him who you are. My name is Agnes and uh, I've got a question for our readers. Um, I asked Dennis on Twitter a wee while ago who would win in a fight between me and you in a wrestling match, like a WWE style wrestling match, but he said me. Do, do you think I would? <laughs> we can fight now. Like, the fake kind of fight, not real fight. So, clarify this for me. Do you want to have a wrestling match with Dennis? No, no, no. With no, Arvidas? No. With Arvidas, aye. Is there a particular reason why you... I just I thought... It might be fun. <laughs> Make it out what you will. I don't think there's any breakdown in translation there whatsoever. It's just a strange question. Just who do you think we'd win? Me? <laughs> no. Right, so now you know the bar hasn't been stepped particularly high for intelligent questions tonight. Uh, don't be afraid of asking anything. Anybody got a, a, a question for the guys here, or are you all just here for the... No, it's went up the back there. Oh, sir, identify yourself and give us your question. Any question with a reason? Uh, Alan, Andy, I've got to ask you, are you staying? Oh. Oh. I hope so. Oh. This is not me building suspense, this is just the quickest I can move to get the ball to the table. There you are. To be fair, you're moving better than me. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what's going to happen at the end of the season. Um, just take it as it comes and wait and see. You're staying. <laughs> hey, yeah. I'll wait and see. I'll wait and see. Right. Here you are. You're obviously set on where you live and all that, and your kids are at school. It must be difficult for footballers because your career is so short. But you're established here. Um, you get international recognition, surely it must be tempting to want to be staying where you are. Yeah. I'm not putting you on the spot here, I just... 
I think it's for like the majority of the boys are in a contract. The club's gone through a massive transitional period. Seen that at the end of last year, a lot of boys who were established first team players left the club due to financial reasons. And it looks like the same again. Hopefully, they also the club's going to sell for an even keel and uh, can obviously progress forward. Um, yeah, just as I say, you just need to take it as it comes. You know, that's, I think that's the circumstance of football nowadays. A lot of people have to wait. In days gone by, you know, people would have been handling four or five year contracts, Chris. Uh, I think, you know, the power has sort of shifted a bit, obviously, financial restraints on Scottish football in general. So, as I say, yeah, I mean, I'm settled, and uh, as you say, with family and stuff like that. But, as I say, if it needs must or whatever else, you have to obviously, but I've had a great time, yeah, just wait and see what happens. Good, thanks, mate. You're up to stay on the good one. Okay, and cheers for the talk. Sir, it's again the same format. Your name and your question, please. Uh, my name is Callum. Uh, question to Andy. You said you're settled in Edinburgh. Your kids are in school. If you can't get a contract at Hearts, if the money's tight, would you sign for Hibs? <laughs> you have been drinking, though. That'll be a no there. Ah, that'll be right. right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I see another arm up here somewhere. There we are. To the gentleman, but it's Keith Carlyle. Go on, then, Keith. Thanks, Scott. Uh, my question is to Danny Olsen. Uh, can I ask? Can I actually say, Danny, it's been a pleasure having you on board by the way this season. On behalf of my fellow Hearts supporters, thanks for coming up here. I know it's uh, obviously maybe we've come to for Liverpool, but uh, have you thought about maybe staying here next season? Uh, I don't know. Like it's just like Andy says, it's just a difficult situation at the moment. So. Um, I'm sure we'll get sorted out in time and uh, I'll speak to the club and see what they've got to say but I certainly wouldn't be against staying here so um, just whatever happens, happens. Okay, 